Hi, I'm Derek Kuzak. Today I'd like to talk about climate change and Ford's blueprint for a sustainable future, with particular attention on our near-term strategy and the foundation of that strategy, our gasoline turbocharged direct injection family of new engines. Climate change is clearly on the radar screen. Consumers face rising fuel prices and are concerned about the environment. Fuel economy is now at the top of their list of purchase considerations. Governments grapple with policy decisions as industries are shaping new business strategies to find workable solutions for an increasingly carbon-constrained world. Where do we fit in? Ford is committed to being part of the solution to address climate change and help secure our energy future. The challenge is complex. Ford is pursuing multiple technology paths to provide the most robust solutions for climate change. One of our principles is ensuring that our technology path is affordable for our customers, the most economically efficient CO2 reduction paths. It must be affordable for our customers and our business. Vehicles are often perceived as the major contributor to CO2 emissions. However, shown by the center box, the transportation sector contributes only about 30% of CO2 emissions, 70% coming from other uses, such as home energy and power generation. Within the transportation sector, if you look at the rightmost box, only about 60% comes from light duty cars and trucks. So 60% times 30% means that only 20% of man-made emissions comes from light duty cars and trucks. Clearly, light duty cars and trucks cannot be the total solution. A cross-sector approach is required. Every day at Ford, we're making decisions that affect our business and our planet's sustainability. To help us in those decision processes, to make the appropriate decisions for our customers, our business, and our society, we've established a modeling framework. The framework allows us to develop CO2 reduction glide path required to stabilize CO2 emissions in the atmosphere. We use that glide path then to also determine the right technology path, the technology path that's affordable for our customers. Affordable not in hundreds of cars, not with thousands of cars, but for millions of cars. Using the modeling framework, we've analyzed the best technology glide path over time and developed the right technology path near term, mid term, and long term. Over the next five years, our focus is on better leveraging existing technologies. These include new transmission technologies, such as expanding use of our 6B transmissions and the introduction of a new transmission a direct clutch transmission that provides the fuel economy of a manual with the shift quality of an automatic transmission. Expanding the application of electric power assisted steering to over 90% of the North American fleet. Expanding the application of battery management systems to 75% of the North American fleet and improving the aerodynamics of our vehicles. At the same time, we'll expand our hybrid vehicle applications to, for example, the Fusion and the Milan at the end of 08, and apply diesel engines to the F-150. However, the cornerstone of our environmental strategy in the near term is EcoBoost technology. We'll introduce different displacement EcoBoost engines in both I-4 and V-6 form in high volume, over 500,000 vehicles across a wide range of product lines globally over the next five years. EcoBoost is an environmentally enlightened downsize engine that provides superior power and torque with the improved fuel economy and fuel emissions that customers want. Fuel economy and power, it's not a paradox. Most of you are familiar with direct injection and turbocharger technology. The uniqueness of EcoBoost is that we combine direct injection and turbocharging and downsizing of the displacement of the engine, both in its volume and in many cases, the number of cylinders. The use of direct injection improves the transient response of the turbocharge to minimize turbo lag. Direct injection also allows us to increase compression ratio, which allows the air charge to be cooler, reducing knock tendency, and allowing then both better fuel economy and a significant improvement in torque compared to larger displacement, naturally aspirated engines. EcoBoost also provides significant advantages versus other alternative powertrain technologies. First and most importantly is its affordability, 
allowing it to be applicable in very high volumes. It also provides its fuel economy benefit of 10 to 20 percent independent of the driver's drive cycle. Other technologies, hybrids for example, provide better fuel economy on city than for example they do in highway driving. EcoBoost is also compatible with truck applications since it, with its high torque at low RPM provides trailer tow and high grade ability. And it's also compatible with future technology improvements in gasoline engines. So in summary, EcoBoost provides a combination of direct injection, turbocharging, and downsizing, and in that manner improves fuel economy, reduces CO2 emissions, while at the same time improving performance. EcoBoost will launch first on the Lincoln flagship sedan, the MKS, in 2009. It will be an EcoBoost 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 that produces an estimated 340 plus horsepower and 340 pound foot of torque. It will be followed quickly with a launch in the Taurus and the Flex. And now some details on the EcoBoost technology. An EcoBoost V6 delivers improved torque and performance over larger V8 while still delivering improved V6-like fuel economy and expected two mile per gallon increase. That flat torque curve is thanks to the turbochargers and delivers an impressive amount of torque just off idle, leading to a high fun to drive factor in addition to improved fuel economy. Next, I'd like to share a video that our engineers put together using a prototype Taurus with an EcoBoost V6 compared against some recognized competition. I think that video says it all. EcoBoost technology will also be applied to I-4 engines. It can be applied to deliver the performance of a V6 engine or a large displacement naturally aspirated I-4. This torque chart shows an EcoBoost I-4 that delivers improved torque and performance over a 3.0 liter V6 engine while still delivering improved fuel economy up to 5 miles per gallon. A key part of our plan is providing near-term solutions that are affordable for our customers and available in high volumes. And EcoBoost delivers on both of those requirements. A customer's initial investment in EcoBoost technology will be recouped through fuel savings, less trips to the pump in just two and a half years. It'll take you seven and a half years with a diesel to recoup your investment. More compelling, 11 and a half years for a hybrid. And the environment benefits as well. A downsized engine and improved fuel economy equals fewer emissions. Approximately 7 to 15 percent reduction in CO2 emissions per vehicle with an EcoBoost engine. Fuel efficient, fewer emissions, affordable and superior performance. I've shared the compelling why buys behind EcoBoost. Now let's talk about the technology that brought us here. With direct injection, fuel is injected directly into the cylinder as opposed to elsewhere in the intake system. In the functional port fuel injection system, fuel is sprayed in the intake port so that air and fuel are induced simultaneously into the cylinder. Compared with port, direct injection yields a cooler, denser, and cylinder charge. These cooler conditions allow for higher compression and extra turbo boost. Here you can see how DI gives you the ability to more precisely control when and how much fuel is injected into the engine cylinders. This allows for a more efficient burn and improved combustion control. For the customer, that means optimal performance and fuel economy. Now that I've taken you through our near-term plan, our mid- and long-term plans call for substantial vehicle weight reductions, as well as increasing volume application of hybrids plug-in hybrids, and potentially fuel cell vehicles. We know what our customers want. We know what society requires. We know what our business demands. Ford needs to satisfy all three globally. We're doing that with the blueprint for sustainability that delivers more products that people want, products that are affordable for our customers without being costly to the environment. You'll hear us talking more about this in all key markets going forward. Thank you very much.